Hey to my Glam family, it's your girl, Angie Marie. So this is another episode of Angie Marie's Thoughts. I decided to share my thoughts about Serena Williams' makeup brand that just came out last month. And I ain't gonna lie, like I would have never thought Serena Williams would come out with a makeup brand. But since she's a good tennis player, I would have thought that she would have like been in like Nike and I don't know, just doing some more sports stuff. You know what I'm saying? Not in the beauty world. But uh, but I guess she wears makeup, but you know, I don't watch tennis. I don't really like follow Serena Williams like that, but I guess she wears makeup. Don't get me wrong, I do like Serena Williams. Serena Williams, I would say if I was into tennis like that, she would have been like my favorite tennis player. We're gonna talk about her makeup brand that just came out. And um, I heard it's not doing pretty good. I was at my job interview for Ulta. Uh, they was telling me that her brand is not doing too well. Some products are on recall and yeah, I don't know what's going on there. So I'm currently using my iPad here and I'm just scrolling through her website right here. Her brand is called Win Beauty and they said, welcome to Win Beauty, makeup made to move in. We make products for life, not just a photo finish. Okay, I'll be completely honest. When I seen her product line, I did not like the packaging at all. I'm not really a huge fan of it. And I know it's like based off of a tennis ball because that's what she's known for is tennis. So that is clever, I ain't gonna lie, but me personally that's that is not my that's not my cup of tea she got a mascara she got the uh lip serums i don't know how many shades she has she only has one shade okay so she only has like one shade of a lip serum she has a liquid eyeliner a eye pencil a multi-function lip and cheek color uh pigment so she got eight shades of those so you could use it for your lip and cheeks so like blush and lipstick and um she has a matte lipstick 10 shades she has a brow pencil a creamy concealer she has um a max intens intensity featherweight lipstick and then a uh, hydrating skin enhancing tint pretty much her makeup line is for dry skin because I know that's not gonna work for me because I'm oily I'm not gonna lie I really want to give her props for this I really love when she displays her tints her skin tints she instead of lightest to the deepest she started deepest first and then to the lightest I'm gonna give her props for that. Let me take a look at her skin enhancing tint. They are available in 36 shades. It has a buildable coverage with a naturally radiant finish. So formulated with invisible sun protection and are truly unstoppable hydra complex. And the lightweight formula delivers up to 72 hours of hydration. So this honestly will be great for those with dry skin. Here's my thing, okay? So we all know that Serena Williams is an athlete, right? As an athlete, you are gonna sweat, right? I would have thought that she would have some sweat proof, uh, transfer proof, waterproof, you know what I'm saying? Especially if athletes wanna wear makeup. So my question is her skin tint, is it sweat proof? I understand that it has sun protection. It gives you uh, 72 hours of hydration, but I want to know, cause I, I used to have been an athlete and I need more, but if I was an athlete and I wanted to wear makeup, I want to make sure that the makeup is sweat proof and it lasts long. You know what I'm saying? And is it transfer proof so it won't transfer it won't move as of right now i don't see anything that could like help those who are athletes i would have thought since she's an athlete she would have 
included those in her product. Just to make sure that when you're sweating, your makeup won't melt or it won't move or anything like that. Okay, let me give you guys my thoughts about her brand. So I'm not a huge fan of the packaging. I'm just going to keep it a buck. I do like how based on her skin tints, I do love how she displays the deepest shades to the lightest because I've never seen that before in the beauty industry ever. So I like that. Basically, her brand is pretty much for people with dry skin. If you have oily skin, this won't work for you. But if you still wanted to try her products, you could try her lipsticks, her eyebrow pencils. She has um, mascara, liquid eyeliner. I guess it's waterproof. Okay, so she does have a waterproof liquid eyeliner. And she has an eye pencil. She has other products that you could try. Me personally, will I try her products? Um, like I said, not the tint, but um, I don't know if I would because I don't really like her packaging as much. I just a personal preference. But I do love the shade colors. They're very beautiful. As an athlete and you try to create a makeup brand, I would have thought that the makeup will have some formula that is sweat proof, transfer proof, um, waterproof. I know her liquid eyeliner is that, but you know, when it comes to like the skin tint, it could have been sweat proof. Especially like if athletes wanted to try her makeup, it would work for them. So yeah, that's what I personally think. Let me know what you guys think about her makeup brand. Are you guys going to try her products? Have you guys tried it? Let me know and what you think. What y'all think about the packaging? I know we all have our different opinions, but I am definitely looking forward to hearing y'all thoughts. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, okay? You guys have a blessed day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.